Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Amlan Sekar, your host, and you are watching Causes Forensics. Uh, guys, this video is going to be about the all the forensic myths that are being circulated in the market, or that that are being uh, you know going around in the market. And I am going to tell you uh, what the what those myths are. I am going to give the reason why they are the so called myths. So myth number one. Uh, involvement of forensic team always represent someone's been killed. Uh, it is not necessarily that it has to be some crimes investigated by forensic experts to uh, just to establish uh, corpus delicti. Cases like uh, burglary also involves forensic examination. Myth number two: forensic work is only laboratory oriented. Not true because work of a forensic scientist extends to crime scene too. Crime scene photography and evidence collection is also done by the forensic scientists. So it's not necessary that forensic science or forensic work is only, uh, you know, restricted to laboratories or labs. Myth number three, which is a case can be solved within minute and seven even seconds. No, it is not true. As the examination of the case depends upon uh, the types of evidences, number of evidence, and various other factors. In fact, time is an independent entity, so it cannot be said that a, a case can be solved within minutes and seconds. Now, myth number four, which is. All labs are equipped with high-end, sophisticated instrument. No, guys. Uh, although almost all labs are equipped with required ins instruments for, uh, and technologies, but since the technology is growing uh, rapidly, so each day some kind of uh, or some kind of modifications are being made. Made or uh, all the instrumentations uh, that are being available in forensic fields are being updated. Uh, recently, I'm, I have done a uh, you know seminar I've, like last month in the Feb, not uh, not March in the Feb. I had you know I had been I'd been I've been a speaker in a in a seminar in which I covered that this topic a progressive forensic science. I've I've made a PPT and I've talked about what are the new advancements that are being made and in the field of forensics. So uh, if possible, I'm going to make a video briefing about what are the latest advancements or latest enhancements that are being made in the field of forensics. So myth uh, number five, I guess. Yes, on TV we see the analysis of evidence to be fast and simple. Like uh, there was a very popular show called CID in which we, we used to see that Dr. Salu Kevu was a forensic expert over there. He used to solve cases or uh, solve evidences within um, like the chart ke bata dete kya, kaun sa poison or kya hai, wo hai. But trust me guys, those are all fake. In real life, crime labs can take weeks or months to analyze and process and evidences, and the evidence usually goes through several sections before the analysis is complete. So, uh, if a piece of evidence has to go through several types of chemical analysis, the process takes a longer time. So, it is also a myth that uh, analysis of evidence is to is fast and simple, not all the times. Now, and next myth or myth number six is that fingerprints are present at every crime scene. <laughs> no, guys, it is not true. Mostly, fingerprints are found at the crime scene, but in a well-planned crime, chances of you know, finding paints almost become zero. And not only, uh, you know, these days the criminals are very, you know, advanced. They they know that uh, they can by chance leave their uh, fingerprints or any kind of prints on the crime in the crime scene. So they use uh, clubs and they use, uh, you know, food covers and all those things so that they can avoid uh, leaving behind the fingerprints. Next myth is all crime scene is processed immediately. No, processing of crime scene depends upon the information received by the investigation officer. The sooner is police informed, the sooner the crime is um, gets investigated. So next myth is on TV, all the crimes are solved and criminals are brought to justice and punished, which is seriously a myth. Because in real life, it's hugely depend. Uh, real life is hugely different from the real life. Yes, although majority of crimes are solved in a cafe, there are crimes which remain unsolved forever, such as the Arushi murder case. Everyone knows about the Arushi murder case. I'm also planning to bring up a series in which we, we get to discuss uh, the, those uh, famous um, cases that are being uh, that are being solved using or th that ha that has a kind of you know thrill in it and has a lot of uh, forensic uh, potential to get discussed so i'm going to uh, bring down a series uh, on it as well next is the cyber forensic is only related to high profile cases absolutely not cyber you know this is a very vast field and each and everything that happens that that is illegal in the field of web is a cyber forensic case 
Next myth is the only computers. Next myth is only computers are analyzed in computer forensic. Absolutely not. Computer forensic means searching and collection analysis of data recovered from the electronic device or electronic storage media. So it's not just uh, computers. It's all the electronic gadgets or electronic media that we use these days. Next myth is the collection of relevant information is very quick and easy process. No. Because time varies in collection of evidences in digital forensic because each of each case is different as in each case the potential for the existence of relevant electronic data is different. Thus, it's not always easy to collect relevant data within a very short period of time or very quickly. Next myth is that digital data can be retrieved by anybody. Absolutely not. In the field of cyber forensic, experts use an authentic way to collect the electronic data. The data like taking a screenshot of emails, text messages is not acceptable in the court. The winning or losing depends upon the way of collecting and presenting the relevant data. So people or the expert with proper knowledge about retrieving data can only handle such situation. So it's not true that digital data can be retrieved by anybody. Next myth is that bullets always matches with the gun from which they are fired. Absolutely not. It's not always easy to find out uh, the uh, find out the gun from where the from where that bullet or uh, the bullet that has been found in the crime scene is being fired. Next is the crime scene investigator identify the unknown powder by smell or taste. No, absolutely not. जो हमें दिखाया जाता है जैसे CID में बहुत सारे cases में ऐसे दिखाया जाता है कि सूंग के बता देते हैं या फिर touch करके बताते हैं ये तो वो है वो ऐसे ऐसा नहीं होता हमेशा बहुत tricky होता है real life में because सिर्फ वो चीज प्योर फॉर्म में नहीं होती उसके साथ बहुत सारी चीजें मिक्सअप होता है इम्प्योर uh, होता है वो सारी चीजें और सब्सटेंसेस मैक्सिमम टाइम पे नेक्स्ट फिंगरप्रिंट इज नेसेसरी टू कैच अ थीफ नो फिंगरप्रिंट इज अ फिंगरप्रिंट इज सच एविडेंस दैट विल बी अ ग्रेट हेल्प इन ऑर्डर टू एस्टेब्लिश द कॉर्पस रिलेक्टिव बट इन केस इफ इट इज नॉट प्रेजेंट दे वुड बी अदर एविडेंस ऑल्सो विच वुड हेल्प द क्राइम टू गेट सॉल्व एंड कैच द थीफ थीफ इन द सेंस द सस्पेक्ट or the offender next myth is a criminal profiling based on the finger fingerprints are usually active accepted it is not necessary that the fingerprint based searches are accepted widely different states have different norms like some have in state entities and the others are mixed far for the course involving fingerprint based searches so it's not always you know true that criminal profiling based on the fingerprints are always accepted passwords are less secure than fingerprint security not true it's not true guys absolutely not last myth in this section is that the original image images does not change by the watermarking it's not true as the image is originally capt captured by a camera so the watermarking may change the image content watermarking is a possibly irreversible process of implanting information into a digital signal it modifies the content of the file and also preserve as a part of the file so watermarking is generally not recommended as a forensic technique so these are the some so these are the some uh, some forensic myths that are being going around in the market or going around in the world so i hope you guys enjoyed learning about the forensic myths and the reason behind it why these 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 things are called uh, termed as the myths so that was it guys hope you guys like the video if you like it please give it a thumbs up share it among your friends and let all your friends watch or who are not from the forensic field also to get to know about this kind of things because this is this is very interesting to know for for the people in forensic and out forensic so if please do share this video and uh, hit the subscribe button thank you bye bye